What's that? Dossala's holiday is over? Nah, don't worry. We got Gaviel the Great Chief return. And would you look at that? More summer skins! If you are new, this video is part of my series called To Buy or Not To Buy, in which I review new and upcoming skins. Of course, you are not obliged to buy any of them, I just like the sound of it and I cannot think of any other names. Without further ado, let's take a look at the new skins first. But before I do that, why don't you go smash the like button like how Gaviel spanked Tomimi. This is Tomimi. A lot of people and myself have mistaken her for Whispering, which is understandable. I lost count how many times I called Tomimi Whispering every time I look at this skin. The name of it is Silent Night, but everything but this dress seems to be the opposite of that. You know, night is dark and the dress is white, but to make up for the slight confusion, the special effects are amazing and Tomimi looks gorgeous. Is it just me or her tail got skinnier? It must be Halu. GWS. My god, half of the cover art is just filled with food. Angie's not having a lunch, she's having a full-on banquet. Are you gonna finish all that? Food aside, I like Angie's swimsuit design. Just a simple one-piece swimsuit under what looks to be a cover-up. I don't know what the actual name is. The first thing that came to my mind was Sarong, but that was not it. Angie's idol animation is hilarious. The way she prevented the glass from smashing onto the ground is the closest thing we're gonna get to the force. I forgot to mention this before, but each of the three new skins have different colors shifting to blue, or shades of blue. Tomimi has white to dark blue, while Angelina's colors shift from pink to cyan. I also like that she walks into deployment not run, but just a casual walk. After 7 long months, Aya's skin has finally arrived in Arknight's EN, and oh my god, it did not disappoint. Everything about this skin is adorable. The art cover, the animation, and the chibi design. Now with this skin, instead of burning the enemies alive, you can suffocate them with water. If you look closer, Aya has a gradient from pink to dark blue, and the pink flowers are a great addition. I also love that she pops into battle. That's all for the new skins. They all look amazing, and it's about time that Aya got her well-deserved summer skin. But as I mentioned before, there are also some skins that are making their comeback, and let's go through those quickly. Scotty's Wave Rider is a basic summer skin with some accessories. Also, Scotty being Scotty, everything she touches becomes a deadly weapon. Even this seemingly harmless orca plushie. Province's skin is one of the few instances where I can see how characters store away their weapons. Because most of the time, they always vanish into thin air and we don't know where it goes. I have several questions though. Is materializing an ice cream an art's ability? And where do these crabs come from and since when do they like ice cream? Something about Platinum's skin screams ancient Greek. It's probably because of her gold wreath that gives me such a vibe. Also, her art cover is too good to be priced at 15 OP. And I'm willing to pay 18 OP just for this skin and also to see more visual effects. Croissant, how is this a beach outfit? First, you don't wear boots to a beach because they're such a hassle to take off. Second, these goggles are not for swimming. And third, what is all this stuff? Not only does it make you less hydrodynamic, you will lose everything on that belt when you swim. Wrong outfit, wrong occasion. Hiya. Oh wait. It's a summer outfit, not a beach outfit. Sorry, Croissant, you do look amazing, and you look like a character from Mad Max. If Hollywood has Captain Jack Sparrow, Hypergriff has Captain Daddy Schwing Schwing. The pirate costume, masterpiece. Plus, Silver Ash is using an actual sword this time, not an umbrella, nor a walking cane, and the VFX is just so colorful. Keobe's skin enhances her bright and energetic personality. Her weapons are infused with water, so now her skills shall be named Really Soggy Axe, Really Wet Knives, Really Moist Spears. Surely with these toys, she won't go loose and eat any more wild mushrooms. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Well, well, we have reached the end. If I have to pick one skin that I'm willing to spend my precious origin item on, it would probably be Ea Fiala because I can't get over how adorable she looks and I have been waiting for an Aaviala skin for months and now that I can just easily grab it, I'm gonna take my chances. If you're feeling a bit wild, then go ahead and buy Silver Ashes skin because as a bonus, you get to admire Matterhorn and Courier. Don't tell me you're gonna say no to those gorgeous apps. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and I'll see you next time.